In this video, I'm going to talk to you about mobilizing and manipulating the thoracic spine. The patient is seated. The couch is appropriate height for myself and for my patient. And I'm going to use a towel to perform the technique. The reason I use the towel is because it specifies the level. If I literally just put my arms around the patient and do a, a technique, maybe something will cavitate, but um, I wouldn't know what level. So a towel will actually focus on the level. So what I've done on this one, so I've actually marked like the green, you might see the green just there. So let's say for instance, this is T1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So let's say T6 is fixed on the right hand side. They call it like an ERS, which means an extension rotation side bending. So it's closed on the right hand side. So I want to do a technique to open the facet. It's not a specific manip for left or right side. It's just a general one because I place the towel onto T7 and I do like a, a they call it like an AP thrust. I call it like a thoracic thrust where we do this movement here. And um, I'm open, but it would cavitate that level. I'm not going to follow through with a full cavitation because my patient and friend has been here for a few hours and we are... Um, We've been manipulating a lot of his spine, so to speak. So let's run through a technique. Now, using the towel, it's important that we roll the towel as tight as we can get it along here. And let's say, for instance, we find T7, which is the inferior angle of the scapula, and come across. So T7. So I'm going to fixate T7. The patient is, maybe come back a little bit more if that's okay. So get them to sit as close as they can. Yes, my couch is bigger, so they might put a bolster under the knee. So find the level that you want to target. Place the towel at that level and drop your sternum down to it. So this is where we are. The arms, I suggest we go right underneath, left. Not that it matters. You can go left and right if you want to. It's my preferred way. So this is where we are, like that. I'm going to slowly guide my patient down into flexion until I feel tension down to this level in here. Now the hands come round, okay, be careful on men for women, okay, so I'm going to come onto his elbows in here and I'm going to slowly pull with my hands and push with my sternum. So we are going to cause like a, an anterior motion of T7 and a posterior motion of T6. So this is the position we are in in here, okay, take a small breath in. And as he breathes out, I'm going to pull and mobilize, okay? I can just mobilize through there. This is no thrust, this is just mobilizing. So I'm pushing and pulling, pushing and pulling. If I do a cavitation, take a small breath. And as he breathes out, lock, lock, lock. And the technique will be more thrust through, okay? So I'm not expecting too much of a cavitation because I'm not going through a full manipulative motion. But you can see how I do it. The patient breathe in, breathe out, pull, lock, lock, lock. And it's a quick movement of the chest going forward with a posterior movement of a hand. And that would be known as a thoracic thrust. And that's how we would cavitate using a towel at a specific level.